I am deep in the belly of um, artistic routine. Yeah, I wake up, I free write, and I work out, and then I probably draw. And then I'll either write right or I'll play guitar. And, or I'll play guitar and then I'll write right. And then I'll rush around extremely late for work. Do you remember the scene where the secretary stays late? about making your life boring so your art can be interesting. And I think there is something probably to be said for some of us, like who flourish on structures rather than non-structure. up an archaeology book from the free pile at work. It's like a 20s Chinese archaeology book and I used it as a sketchbook because it was making me sad for all the paper to not be used. And then I started drawing abstractly because of the layout of these archaeology, you know, the mounds or where they found what. And then I started drawing on regular paper and then I just kept going. And I think it was partly because I had written a novel that started because I couldn't figure out why I didn't like Jackson Pollock. Then I wanted to draw non-representationally. Before that, I've been doing a lot of like cats. It's so much fun. I mean, I would like recommend to anyone sit down with a big pile of markers and draw for 45 minutes a day. It's like hugely satisfying. Hey, what's that you gonna get a fresco? Well, I was gonna throw a big prima donna fit, but I forgot. When I look at them anyway, they are like little explosions. What I make, what I make. <laughs>